see. Well, we're back with the update for the Ultimate Truck Trailer build. We got the parts in today for the dual shock setup. We got the shocks and the brackets, or spacers, really, is all I'm hoping I'm going to need. So the shocks, we went with the RC four-wheel drive, ultra-scale, 100 millimeter, internally sprung shocks. And as far as the ultimate part goes, they are pretty scale looking. Um, I think I think they said it's a nine millimeter OD, so smaller than your average shot, but pretty scale. I think they're gonna look good. The part number is 4ZD003. They were about 30 bucks. I actually think we paid $28.99 for them. And then to mount them, we got these hot racing M3 spacers. All they are is just a, an assorted pack of, of different length spacers. And what I needed these for was where the shaft is going to mount on the truss. I needed the spacers to push this shock out just a little bit so that it's straight up and down. Um, well, not quite straight up and down, but, but to get the angle that I needed so that it didn't bind up. The only thing with the shocks, now these are oilless. They do say to, to coat them with a, a very thin layer of oil on the inside. And these came from the Northeast. I know it's been cold. We just went through an ice storm. Uh, it's starting to warm up a little now, but while in transit, I'm pretty sure that these were probably going through some cold temperature. So I'm hoping that's, that's what the whole issue is. But if you look, and they stay. Now, there is something really sticky all over this shot. And I, I think what it is, is the cold temperatures have made the, the oil that they put on the inside, I, I think it's, it's made it thicken up a little bit and it's getting pretty tacky. So what I'm gonna do is heat them up with my heat gun and see if that fixes it. I'll take them apart and spray them out, clean them out real good, and then put new oil in there and uh, see if that fixes the problem. So let me do that real quick and we'll get back with you and I'll let you know if it fixed the problem or not and then we'll get to the installation. And hopefully it works out like we planned. So we'll be right back. Okay, so just to show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see this, I just took this apart and the spring actually had some resistance coming out. So I think this is going to be the problem. If you can see that, see all that thick lubricant on there or oil is just, it's just, it's just, man, it's just nasty. Probably can't see inside the shock body that I'm looking at, but we'll see. Uh, maybe not probably not but anyway there's a bunch of junk in there it looks just like that stuff that's on the spring so we're going to heat it up and see if we can get it to thin out a little bit clean it up and and then we'll replace it with the new hmm okay <clears throat> so listen to me when i tell you guys the whole thing about the heat, what I, what I told you, don't do that. That was probably the absolute worst thing that I could have done. Time lapse between when I just left y'all and now, it's probably about 45 minutes. Uh, all that heat did was make it nasty and a mess. So <clears throat> what I had to do was I took the shocks completely apart, took all the O-rings out, bushing everything out. Scrubbed them with Dawn and a toothbrush. Dried them out, re -oiled them, put them all back together. Now, they're acting the way they should be. Just, just like this. So, that's how they should be. So, tip for me guys, don't do that. 
Don't put heat to it, you're gonna make a mess. So, I'll show you what, we're, what the plan is on the truck, and then I'll get it done, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so the plan, those of you that have ever ever ran these F9s or, or seen a set, uh, they have this little groove right there. If you can see it, it's right there. There's a piece of all thread that comes in this kit that goes all the way through there. Now, I don't know what it's for, uh, but it's going to make an awful good shock mount, I can tell you that much. See this one if you can, see if I can get out of the. There you go, right there. So the shock's going to mount right there, and then we're going to bring it up, and it's going to run in line with this one, and it's going to mount right up here. So basically, if it works right, it is going to look something like that something to that effect so we're going to get the tires and wheels off uh, find them pieces of all thread and get these put in now these spacers these are going to go here and they're going to push that shock out just a little bit uh, i think without them that the shock is is going to be at too too drastic of an angle and it's going to bind so anyway we'll be back in a second okay guys we're done really really not bad for just lining up uh, they went on smooth uh, you know right down here there's where that piece of all thread went through that uh that shock ball in fits fits in there really nice had to use a little bit of a spacer uh, one of the smaller ones and it worked out perfect to give me my clearance on the shock body Holes lined up really good. I think the spacing between the two lined up just about perfect. I, I couldn't be happier with that. So, all in all, I think it uh, I think it turned out really well. So there you go, guys. Dual shocks, SCX10, Ultimate Truck Trailer Combo, Project Silverback. Stick with us if you wanna if you wanna keep getting the updates. We got a few few other things to do. The trailer's almost done. Hopefully I'll have it next week. And for those of you that don't know or forgot, this trailer's 13 by 36. That's just the deck. So total trailer's probably gonna be close to three and a half, um, you know, in between three and a half, four feet. So it's big, it's gonna be big. If you wanna see it, watch your screen. Look real close. It's coming up. Did you see it? There's a little glimpse of it for you. It's supposed to be getting painted at the end of this week, get finishing touches put on it, and then we have some things we need to do to it when we get back here. So if you want to keep up with it, please subscribe. If you think this will help somebody, give somebody an idea, please like it, please share it. Comment if you have any suggestions or comments, good or bad. I want to hear them all. And uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, if you're a beginner RC enthusiast, be inspired. If you're a veteran RC enthusiast, inspire somebody. We want to bring people into this hobby, guys. We'll see you next time.